Amidst the burning wreckage of a bombardment of Stepanakert, the largest city in Nagorno-Karabakh, evidence, says Amnesty International, of cluster bombs. They explode in the air, scattering hundreds of smaller bombs indiscriminately. More than a hundred countries have banned them, but not Azerbaijan or Armenia. Civilians in Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan have been caught in the middle of ten days of fighting between the two sides. Here in Armenia, displaced people from Karabakh are picking up donated food. We just heard the air raid siren, took the children and left. Now we're here with two families, ten people, eight children living in a relative's house. We hope for peace. Everything will be good. Our sons are fighting back there. My husband stayed home to defend our village and we're staying here with my sister. We wait for good news because our sons are fighting like eagles. This school in Azerbaijan is one of the refuges for the tens of thousands of displaced people living near the line of contact. Most of the 65 families here are from Tata and have turned classrooms into bedrooms. Food is provided by donors and the local government. They began shelling everywhere. Our houses were hit, most places were damaged. Old mothers like me and children came here. We had to leave only with the clothes that we were wearing. We were at home when they started shelling and we had to jump out just as we were. We hardly saved our own lives. Shame on the Armenian forces that attack civilians despite the fact that they are living on our lands. A ceasefire still seems a distant prospect. Turkey's foreign minister was in the Azeri capital Baku on Tuesday. Mevlut Cavusoglu questioned what the point of a ceasefire would be when there's been one for the last 30 years and Armenia still hasn't withdrawn from Azeri territory it occupies. The Azeri military says they've seized a half-abandoned village in Nagorno-Karabakh very close to the contact line that divides the enclave from Azerbaijan. Armenia's government didn't immediately comment. The Russian and French foreign ministers and the US Secretary of State have condemned what they call the unprecedented and dangerous escalation of violence in and outside of Nagorno-Karabakh. And they say that recent attacks on civilian centers in Nagorno-Karabakh, Armenia and Azerbaijan are disproportionate and constitute an unacceptable threat to the stability of the region. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Goris, Armenia.